Kevin Greuter, the director of Saw X, has signed on to create Saw 11. He marked a triumphant return to the franchise last year with what audiences deemed one of the best parts yet. Although the writing team from the previous movie will not be returning and there's no official information yet on who will pen the script. But the director's comeback should be seen as a positive sign. However, there's limited time for completing the story and production. This news comes from the horror portal Bloody Disgusting, which recommended keeping an eye out for updates, hinting at forthcoming news about the movie. It's possible the publication's authors already have some details. John Kramer has made a striking comeback, crafting yet another narrative for the Saw franchise enthusiasts, nestled between the very first and the second movies. This edition suggests a revisitation of the old within the new, hinting at a potential continuation of the series following its tenth installment, which intriguingly leaves several questions unanswered. This observation stems from insights shared by the new film's producers, Mark Berg and Oren Cooleys, who, alongside Kevin Groydert, are eagerly awaiting box office outcomes to embark on the development of the next chapter. With a modest budget of 13 million bucks, Saw X has impressively grossed around 50 millions, making the prospect of another franchise film a matter of time. However, labeling Saw X as a fully-fledged movie feels somewhat generous due to a persistent sense of incompleteness. Despite the filmmaker's efforts to incorporate every franchise element into this new installment, the story emerges somewhat modest, possibly due to its more personal focus. John Kramer, the face of the franchise, franchise arguably deserved a standalone film that delves deeper into his personal saga which has intermittently seeped through the franchise's main storyline. Saw X prioritizes drama, showcasing a vulnerability in Kramer not previously seen even amidst his dire circumstances in past films, placing this installment firmly among the franchise's solid middle entries yet leaving room for improvement. Spiral remains, in my view, the franchise's weakest link. Looking ahead, I aim to share my immediate impressions of blockbuster releases through videos despite the abundance of opinions and reviews on Saw X. This latest film hints at the beginning of a grand new story marked not by a conclusive period but an ellipsis suggesting more to come. Yet a fascinating aspect left out of the new film involves Kramer's historical dealings with various fraudsters indifferent to human fates. Screenwriter Josh Stolberg shared a compelling deleted scene as a nod to another Another franchise installment, where Kramer tests a new trap resembling a piranha-filled tank on an insurance salesman connected to William Easton. This missed opportunity could have been one of the most visually striking trap scenes, further linking Saw X and the sixth film in a strategic maneuver to intertwine the series' narratives more closely. Perhaps this scene, among others, will be revealed in a director's cut or as additional content enriching the Saw saga's complex web. Following the tenth installment, the new Saw movie has expanded its universe by bringing back not only John Kramer, who physically left the franchise after the third film, but also his main assistant, Amanda, and Detective Hoffman, whose appearance in the post-credits scene undoubtedly surprised fans. This return of key characters hints at potential plot developments in future parts, possibly even without Kramer's direct involvement due to his deteriorating condition. The story could focus on the complex relationships between Amanda and Hoffman, united by a common goal at that time. The post credit scene featuring Hoffman and Kramer putting Henry Kessler, a man from the cancer support group who deceived Kramer through a test, is a pivotal moment that reveals new aspects of their collaboration and past. Kessler, being part of a scam, and Cecilia Peterson, benefiting from fraudulent schemes, add complexity to the storyline, providing viewers with not just details about the crimes, but also hints at the earlier stages of Kramer and Hoffman's interaction. The fate of Cecilia remains one of the key questions. Her participation in the test along with her boyfriend Parker, and her connection to the fraud that Kramer learned about through Diego, a taxi driver, and another accomplice adds intrigue and suggests plot developments surrounding the exposure and punishment of those involved in the fraud. However, things didn't go according to plan due to the sudden appearance of a boy named Carlos on the scene during the height of the game, who even took part in it. As a result, Cecilia and Parker were subjected to a gas attack, from which Dr. Peterson survived while Kramer, Carlos, and Amanda left into the sunset, leaving the survivor to fate. An interesting theory exists that suggests Yes, Kramer had a soft spot for Cecilia, hence he planned to subject her to less dangerous trials. Just think about what other participants went through, and yet she, as a woman, would not have suffered any injury.
injuries and her chances of survival were much higher. This recalls the accusations against Kramer of being a hypocrite. The reason he might have needed her remains unclear. However, her survival could hint that Peterson has a significant chance of becoming a major problem in the sequel. Given her involvement in fraudulent schemes, it's unlikely she would turn to the police since she's essentially a criminal herself. In the case of an 11th installment, it's more probable that her target would not be Kramer but his successors, with whom Cecilia is already familiar. However, Hoffman seems a more likely candidate since, as we remember, John's assistant participated in the sequel's trials while the detective could have been dealing with problems posed by Dr. Peterson. This setup suggests a continuation where the aftermath of these events could unfold, with Cecilia possibly seeking revenge or trying to manipulate the situation to her advantage, especially considering her precarious position and knowledge of the fraudulent schemes. Her familiarity with Amanda and potential confrontation with Hoffman could introduce new dynamics into the Saw narrative, complicating the legacy of John Kramer and his disciples' ongoing saga. Thus, the story could unfold in several directions, a detailed exploration of the characters' past and motivations, the continuation of the conflict between Amanda and Hoffman, and the unveiling of new conspiracies and secrets related to Kramer's activities and his followers. This creates a foundation for a deep dive into the Sawverse, offering viewers new levels of tension and intrigue. Exploring the legacy of John Kramer even in his physical absence, his ideology and methodologies continue to influence the actions of his followers. Future narratives could delve deeper into how his teachings are interpreted or misinterpreted by characters like Amanda and Hoffman, leading to new conflicts and tests. This exploration could also introduce new characters who are either inspired by or seek to combat Kramer's legacy, offering fresh perspectives on the moral and ethical dilemmas at the heart of the franchise. The complex relationship between Amanda and Hoffman offers fertile ground for storytelling. Their differing methods and loyalties to Kramer could lead to a power struggle, revealing more about their characters and possibly dividing the community of Kramer's followers. This internal conflict could serve as a central plot point, showcasing how personal vendettas and ideological differences impact their choice of victims and the design of their traps. Further revelations about the network of Kramer's associates, including those like Cecilia Peterson and the implications of their actions, could add layers to the narrative. The involvement of characters in fraudulent schemes, as hinted at in the post credit scene of the tenth movie, suggests a broader conspiracy that could be explored in future films. Investigating these connections could lead to a larger narrative about corruption and manipulation, extending beyond the immediate circle of Kramer's influence. The potential for new characters to enter the fray with their own connections to Kramer or his followers could introduce new dynamics and challenges. These characters could bring their own grievances, agendas, and traps, expanding the universe of Saw and its thematic concerns. Their introduction could also serve as a means to explore the impact of Kramer's legacy on the wider world, including law enforcement, survivors of the games, and the public's perception of his philosophy.